Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm actually sorry I haven't been posting as much recently, but that's just because I've been really busy with like traveling, uh, school, work, um, since I'm in college. So I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But the good news is that I pretty much have the next couple of months off, so you definitely can expect me to post more during the next couple of months. New times, new me even got the new haircut to go with it, as you might have noticed. So one of the things I wanted to talk about is there have been a lot of new developments in the world of tech, as there normally are, so I definitely wanted to cover some of that stuff in upcoming videos. I know I mostly focus on computing hardware, but that's definitely not going to be the only thing that I make videos on going forward. If anyone has anything in particular, like a particular development in tech that they want to know about, please do feel free to go ahead and tell me in the comments, and I will consider making a video about it for sure. But yeah, some of the developments that I'm especially considering reporting a bit on are the new AR glasses that have apparently been canceled recently that I think Google was going to make them. Uh, also, we have similar AR glasses that are in development from companies like Apple and Meta. So hopefully we'll be having that soon. I feel like that's been too long of an awaited invention and they need to make it already like a quality one, I mean, and it needs to become uh, widespread. Now in the world of computing hardware, Ryzen is coming out with a new chip. The Ryzen 5 5600X 3D is coming out. So I might cover that on my channel as well. So here's an interesting piece of news. The Japanese company Jizai is coming out with some cyborg arms for humans. So yes, as we know about that, that might definitely be something I'd be interested in covering in a tech news channel because this definitely seems extremely interesting and I'm kind of excited to see where this goes, to be honest. Soon we'll probably have AI controlling our minds and at the same time become cyborgs. It's only a matter of time, I guess, before we're basically robots, right guys? So for upcoming videos that I was thinking of making, I have like a 2015 old MacBook Pro and I want to see what it can do gaming wise, if anything at all. Now I'm sure I'm going to get something out of it. If I got something out of a 2007 Windows laptop that was absolutely ancient and never even intended for gaming, I did a video where I gamed on that 2007 laptop. You can check it out at the card above. But anyway, so I'm going to be making a video on this 2015 uh, MacBook Pro and seeing what it can do gaming-wise. Also, some of you may have seen my first video where I did something involving engineering and also tech. I guess you could think of it kind of as engineering meets gaming hardware sort of thing. And the past one that I made was making ice cream with my PC. You can check that video out at the card above as well. But the next one that I'm planning on making potentially is using a tiny motor that I bought on Amazon to cool my PC. And yes, it is going to plug into a certain part of the PC while I do so. More on that in the future, but hopefully I will be releasing that during this summer. And yeah, that's it for videos that I particularly have in mind. If you guys have any others in mind, though, please do tell me down below. I've already seen some of your comments, like one of you requested to have a video where I compared different first-person shooter games, and I definitely have added that to my list, along with many other videos. So yes, please do let me know about suggestions, as always. Additionally, another thing I wanted to address was that a while ago I said on my Discord, back when I was doing the uh, RTX 3060 giveaway, I said that to 10 of you who entered the giveaway, I was also going to be giving away a free Logan's Tech Lab shirt. And I've not been able to do that yet, mostly because I don't have the money for that many shirts at the moment, unfortunately, and to ship them out all over the world. But I have not forgotten about that, and I do hope to uh, send out the shirts when I do have the money. All right, so there's other ways I've been looking to expand my brand online in addition to YouTube. So for example, I started a Twitch. I haven't really done anything with it just yet when I'm posting this video, but I do hope to do some streams, especially Crusader Kings 3, and also other games if there's any specific you want me to do. Do let me know in the comments. 
and I'm going to put my Twitch in the description. But that's not all. I do want to reiterate that I have a Discord, so that's going to be in the description as well if you guys want to check it out. And I just started a Patreon. It's brand new, but I just feel like every little small donation would make a big difference, even a one-time thing. So I have started up a Patreon. I hope to add a lot more things to it moving forward. But for now, that is live. So it is in the description as well if you would consider donating to my Patreon. I know it's a hard time to ask for donations, it's just that I really feel like if I had a bigger budget, I could do a lot more on this channel. So if you do like and support the channel, I would really appreciate it so much if you could spare any money to uh, donate so that I could hopefully have more money to buy uh, more tech hardware and to make more awesome videos for you guys. A lot of times the budgetary constraints are very real and I do promise that all the money that I receive even donations will be reinvested into the channel. So that means stuff like finally sending out the shirts to you guys and doing more graphics card giveaways. Like I remember when the when I did the RTX 3060 giveaway, a lot of you guys were really really wanting to win. Well, if I get more donations for Patreon, I'm going to be able to uh, make such videos more often and do more giveaways. So I'm really excited about that. I like giving back to you guys because at the end of the day, you guys are what makes this channel work. I would not be here without you guys. And I am almost at a thousand subscribers now, so it really means a lot. So yeah, if you can support on Patreon, I would really appreciate it so much. All right, that's it for today. As always, thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you in the next one.